This is one of the strangest materials I have ever seen. It is not sticky at all. You can't even stick like regular tape to it. But if I drape it over this tomato, it holds it up. Unless you turn it upside down, in which case it just falls off. Now, does it only stick to fruit? No, it'll stick to a water bottle or a bag of chips, basically any approximately smooth surface. And that's because this material is made to mimic gecko skin. Artificial gecko skin comes out of Professor Mark Kokoski's Stanford lab, and it has now been used on robotic grippers, on tiny robots that can pull way more than their weight, on a robot that floats around the International Space Station, and even enabling a person to scale a glass wall, Spider-Man style. It all started with a competition to make a robot that climbs a vertical wall without suction. Here's sticky tape. Everybody's familiar with it. You press it on and it sticks. It sticks pretty hard actually. And then you peel it off. Here's gecko material. And the first thing you notice is that it's actually, it's not sticky at all. But if I lift it from the middle, I can lift the football. You might say, well, you could do that if you had this other sticky tape, right? Well, yes, but if I had the other sticky tape, it wouldn't do that. And that's important because if you're a small robot trying to climb a wall, you can't afford to have something like chewing gum on your feet because then every step you take is effort. What you want is something that only grabs when you need it to. And that, that's kind of the main principle of our Gecko-inspired adhesive. Here, this is an early prototype of the StickyBot Gecko-inspired robot. This got us into a, a long effort to understand what is it that makes gecko adhesion work? Having something which grips, but is not sticky. 